November 2nd is celebrated as the world's vitamin D day. A day chosen to highlight and promote vitamin D deficiency, an issue which has become a health hazard in India and across the world. Vitamin D has several important functions. One of the most important being the absorption of calcium and phosphorus and helping our immune system function smoothly. A sufficient amount of this vitamin is essential for normal growth and development of bones and teeth. Lack of vitamin D puts you at risk of developing bone defects such as osteomalacia or soft bones and osteoporosis or fragile bones. Besides this, it is also believed to play a key role in preventing autoimmune diseases like multiple sclerosis and type 1 diabetes, preventing breast and colon cancers and helping the heart stay healthy even. But if this vitamin is so vital to our health, you may wonder why so many people are still deficient and not doing anything about it. The answer is right out there. We get vitamin D from exposure to the sun. Our skin creates it using something called ultraviolet B that's present in the rays of the sun. With more and more of the world's population opting for an indoor lifestyle and avoiding the sun as much as possible, our bodies have limited options to source this key vitamin. Increasing pollution levels, more sunscreen usage, working long hours in offices, urban living where exposure to the sun is limited are just some of the reasons contributing to this inadequacy. Clearly, vitamin D is an essential nutrient for everyone and there are three ways you can obtain it. The most natural way being the sun, from what you eat, your diet or from supplements. Sunlight is an excellent source of vitamin D. It's free and for us in India, quite abundant too. You can get more vitamin D in 10 minutes of direct sunlight. Food can provide vitamin D too, but it's difficult to get the requisite amount a body needs from your diet alone. Only a few foods, such as fatty fish, fish liver and egg yolks, contain vitamin D naturally. Other foods, such as milk and cereal, are fortified with vitamin D. Supplements may be necessary for a few individuals. Older people whose kidneys aren't capable of converting vitamin D to its active form or those suffering from an ailment that doesn't allow their digestive tract to absorb a sufficient amount of vitamin D as required by the body can gain from choosing supplements. Vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin, so take your supplement with a meal containing some fat to enhance better absorption. Also, you're better off taking a supplement that contains D3 than D2 which is far less potent, a form of vitamin D. Vitamin D is really good for us, but the key is having it in moderation. Get your bit of sunshine, but don't overdo it. And the same goes for your supplements and vitamin D rich diet.